All right, so we've recently purchased this coach. It has 9,800 miles on it. It's a 2011 with the Ford V10. The original owner changed oil. He had record of changing it at about a thousand miles, again at about 7,300. So it's only got 2,000 or so miles on it since he last changed it. But um, it is seven years old with low mileage. So the oil's probably been sitting a while and for the cost of 30 bucks, um, we're gonna go ahead and start everything as fresh as we can. Uh, have never done this, haven't even really looked under here very much. So you're gonna see someone figuring it out for the first time. Okay, so you can see my oil fill is here. Here's my dipstick. Around on the other side, here's the, uh, the oil fill cap, 5W20 is what it's calling for. So I can tell I'm gonna have a little trouble getting my oil bo oil uh, bottles in here to pour because this is fairly high um, and we're going to get underneath and see what the drain plug and see if I see the oil filter. All right. So I picked up the Motocraft filter, the Ford filter and um, it's available at Walmart or any pretty much anywhere. And it's cheap, cheaper than my, uh, cheaper than our little Honda Fit or our truck. It's like three dollars and something. So I've got this, and I've got the. Um, we're going with Mobile One Full Synthetic uh, 5W20 for our oil, and it takes seven quarts. A little tip: I have been using the kids had these foam surfboards you can get at Walmart. The older I get, the more my knees do not care for being on concrete, and so when I get down on this creeper. I like to use this next to me and I can kind of roll over onto it and I'm not on the concrete. And Cindy is laughing. I'm almost 50 guys. Alright, here's oil pan. You can see, I don't know if it's focusing, but there's my oil filter. Here's the drain pan, drain plug. And it's warm, I was just running the engine. So if I put a pan under here, and drain plugs here. You well, got that bars in the way. Yeah, that's what they said. Is uh, hmm. it'll it'll want to drip on here. Yeah. So the drain plug is right over this axle. I wedge it under here. I can do something like that. That'll help. I'm using a funnel here to. Uh, catch the oil from the drain pan and direct it down into my little pan here so that it doesn't drip on the axle. Alright, we're trying to figure out, oh, got it on the first one. Let's see. The socket I'm using is a 5 8 So if anybody remembers the beginning of season 3, I had an oil spill fiasco and partly because this pan is so much lower than the drain plug. So I'm going to use these yellow Lego blocks to put my oil pan on. And that raises it about four inches. And hopefully it goes right in the right place without too much splashing. Need it? Nope, nope you got, got it. it. I got it. Alright, so now we're going to put this funnel. This will be a two-hand operation. Now it's loose enough and I see some oil already, so we're going to get ready to catch as best we can and hope we don't have a mess. Hopefully that, there you go. We had a few drips out of the pan, but nothing terrible. Cindy, would you go up and open up the oil fill cap to release the vacuum? Okay. So the oil is down to a slow drip now, so I'm going to just put the drain plug back in after cleaning it. That'll stop that drip. And then I can pull this funnel out and sort of clean up. Did get a few drops on the axle, uh, but without this funnel, it would have been a mess. My filter's up here and I'm going to try my same funnel trick for the filter. Hopefully I can 
get the wrench in there. All right, get this filter wrench in and get it loosened. Um, eh, it's hard to get. Let me come from this way and I can pull on it. There we go. Seemed like it was very loose to me. I'm gonna let it come out and then I'll take the filter the rest of the way. Oh yeah, here it comes. I'm gonna let that come out. When I take the filter off, I can let it just fall into the funnel and turn it upside down in the funnel. Here we go. Flowing faster. Oh. Yeah, it went to the other side. Is it going on the concrete? Um, no. Okay. We can live with that. You okay. ready? All right, as Daddy always taught me, put some of the oil on this rubber gasket here first. And then you can put new filter in the place. You go hand tight and then put about a quarter turn with the wrench. Actually, I feel like my hand tight it's pretty darn tight, so sometimes I don't do the quarter turn with the wrench. I've never had a leaking issue. Everything's closed up on the bottom, so we are going to put seven quarts. This is a five quart jug, so we'll pour this entire jug. Let's see, without making a mess. Um, you're holding it vertical, yeah. keep it in the hole. Working oh. well. So I'm gonna have to rotate as yeah, I. Yeah, be careful. We're good, we're good. I usually stop at about six quarts, like a quart short, and this time I accidentally kind of went right up close to seven. I like to do that and then run it and then check it. And if you can tell, this dipstick is about four feet long. Let it sit for a few seconds, pull it back out, and let's see what we got. It's showing above the full right now, but that's probably uh, typical because the oil hadn't been run through the filter and it hasn't uh, finished settling yet. So I think we're going to be fine. Hopefully I didn't overfill. That's changing the oil. You just saw it. First time, knew nothing about the motorhome. Um, easy peasy. I'd say since you got so much room everywhere, it's really easier than your car. Don't hesitate to do it yourself. I did it for uh, approximately $30. The oil was maybe $30 and about $4 for the filter. And how much time? I bet I could do it in under a half hour um, without the filming. So that's it, changing the oil on the Ford V10. Till next time.